crafty people, I have another configuration box. Um, this was a special request, a custom order um, from someone who wanted to purchase the other one. I had quite a few people that wanted it. And she asked me to go ahead and create another. And she had some special requests. Um, she wanted a chandelier. She wanted a, one of the vintage ladies. Oh, she liked that some of the boxes looked like rooms. So she wanted that. Um, and then the rest was just, I like pink and shabby. And I tried to really come up with something different for her. And I'm really, really happy with it. I hope she is too. Um, so I'm, I'm going to want to start at the bottom. Let's go down here and I hope that let me try to set the camera I hope that you can see uh, the little there's a a miniature uh, little table uh, and chairs and they are metal um, I picked them up at a miniatures show that I went to with uh, a friend of mine who invited me to go to this miniatures um, little, it was a little small, like a, almost like a craft show, but with miniatures. So I picked up that little food plate at the, at the place. And I just put a doily on top of the table. I used some little miniature teacups and saucers I had in my stash. I put a little tiny doily in the seat of the two um, wire, um, chairs and in the back I used a Prima frame and I googled pictures of uh, bakery windows and I used a piece of acetate in front of it to make that look like a window into the bakery um, I also added some uh, Prima uh, resin pieces in the front of macaroons and cupcakes and cake. I think it looks so cool. I love it. Um, so I'm just going to pan around. Then over here on the door, I did the same thing with that little Prima frame and made it look like the inside of the bakery um, looking in. I used a uh, just a a pearl for the doorknob and I trimmed out the door in pearl and then I have a Prima resin piece uh, up at the top of the door just to make it look more ornate. I have a Prima clock and then I have another little Prima window that looks like it's looking inside the, the bakery. I added some flowers down there. There's trim that goes all the way around the back, the bottom, you know, framing that out. And then I, um, let me tilt this up. I actually added this extra, I don't know what you call it. I added this extra piece coming out of the configuration box so that I could add this little fence and, um, you know, make it look like this is like a little seating area in front of the bakery. Um, trim, lace, flowers, uh, a little bicycle, thought was really cute. And then up top, I made this also come out uh, from the box so that this would look like uh, an awning to the cafe. And you can see how the awning comes down. And then I had these two wood pieces, sorry about that, two wood pieces in my stash. I painted those white. I added the bling and the butterfly bling there. And that is my little bakery scene. I love it. Hope you guys love it too. Over, let's go to the right. Um, I wanted this to look like um, a little storefront, like a little um, display window. So I altered up the dress form. I had this little purse in my stash. I had this little round box and I wanted to do it up so it looked like a hat box. And I have a, a glass slipper. 
I put some feathers back there in the back and that is um, hopefully looks like a little display window. So you're walking along, you see the display window at this shop, you come across the bakery. Um, I do have this metal, I believe it's a Prima or a Recollections metal lamp post. And then in this box, um, I had this beautiful heart-shaped bottle. I altered it up with a lot of bling. There's pretty pearls and, and um, goodies inside the bottle. And then I just added some fabric flowers along the bottom. So, also, I'm sorry guys, I'm trying to hold this camera. Also, I wanted to make these topiaries. Um, I had these little columns and I just got these in the cake department at Hobby Lobby and um, I had wanted uh, to make these topiaries so I just used wooden balls that I had in my stash and I uh, had layered two of them um, I just added flowers all over a little bit of lace and pearls and a bow and these are gonna set separately so when she displays this box she's gonna have a topiary for each side of the box and I thought that also added to that little outdoor uh, bottom floor kind of theme. So as we go up, I have the first room with the fireplace. I've got the little, there's a, a resin fan back there, um, a metal word dream, lots of flowers, layered fabric and wild orchid craft uh, mulberry flowers. Um, on top I have a, uh, a pretty silver spoon, a gorgeous little cherub, and then I have this uh, very pretty frame that I had in my stash, I'm not sure where it came from, and then I layered that butterfly metal piece. And that is that box. Except for this wood piece, um, this is also from Hobby Lobby. Just painted it white and added the bling. Lace across there. We've got the Prima Resin phone more lace than the vintage lady back there um kind of like she's walking down the hallway and then we have a uh, recollection doorknob key or door knocker and keyhole then we have the living room and we have a couch and we have the little table and a vintage telephone that's from saw crafters and then what I did here was I again made a little circle uh, coming out of the box so that I could hang this um, chandelier and it would look more dimensional. Um, I have some of this dangle trim. I forgot I have it over here as well. Um, coming up and then down over here. Um, I had this key I picked up at Michael's quite some time ago. And then in this box, um, I had this cherub that had a, a wing broken off. So I put her up against the edge so you can see the wing she does have. Um, I had this little pitcher. I love that little pitcher. Uh, this is a mm, Tim Holtz book plate. I layered a bottle cap and um, a glass piece from uh, Craft Fantastic. Another one of those wood pieces from Hobby Lobby and a bling. And then up in the very top box, there is a birdhouse in the background, a Prima resin clock, a Recollections key, a Prima love light bulb, and a Prima heart rose frame a bow sorry about that guys i've been told my uh my music on my phone is scary but it is walking dead so i guess it's supposed to be scary um the only thing i really had left to show you is i want to show you the topiaries again so those are separate and you know can be displayed with the box um this is the trim that goes all the way around the box. 
And the funny thing is, is I was going through my craft room, rearranging over last weekend, and I had altered a lamp and decided I didn't like it or want it anymore, but it had this beautiful trim on it. So I ripped it off. And when I started working on this box, I was like, oh, that'd be beautiful for the box. So that's it. And then I just wanted to show you, this is all I did. I mean, I had to go around and search for some boxes. Uh, while I was rearranging my craft room, I found these three boxes um, that were just little random boxes I had stashed away somewhere and found them. And um, I think one of them is a phone box. So anyway, worked out perfectly. And that's how you can create your own configuration box. I hot glued all the boxes together. I painted it all white. And then I added my papers and started decorating. I love it. I hope she loves it. <laughs> That's the most important thing. And I do want to tell her very quickly, this little area, I am concerned because these little chairs only have little pin feet um, that they could potentially come loose during transit. They probably will. So when you display it, sweetie, just, um, just put them in place. Or you can even put like a little dab of E6000. And once you set them in place, they'll um, adhere to that floor but um, the rest of it should make it just fine i package everything really well wrapped and and everything so ah i hope you love it let me know um thanks for watching guys i love making these boxes so much i especially loved this particular area so i'm excited to hear what you got to say talk to you guys soon i've got some um some cards coming up thanks bye